They posted a rather weak set of numbers. The revenue was down by close to 30 percent the past quarter. The margins of the company as well did contract around 7 percent from around 9 percent earlier. Let's uh, invite the management. We have Mr. Vijay Banka, the MD of the company, who joins us on the show. Hi, uh, Mr. Banka. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, let's talk about Very the ethanol morning. part of the business, because that's one part of the business, uh, Mr. Banka, that the street was quite optimistic on. So what is the sales volumes? What do you expect to end this year with? And also for FY24, where do you see that number headed? I ask you this because you've added capacity out there and the street is quite bullish. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. Very good morning. Uh, we have had uh, 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 sales of about 1.68 crore liters of ethanol in this quarter. And in the next quarter, again, we'll be doing sales of about 1.5 crore liters. So together in this fiscal, we'll be selling ethanol uh, we already done five and a half crore liters, so maybe we'll sell about seven crore liters of ethanol in this fiscal. Yes, uh, the ethanol is going to be the mainstay of the business. Uh, this will help in uh, moderation of our sugar production and inventory. And uh, this actually is going to be a paradigm shift in our business model. Uh, at margins from ethanol business are going to go improve going forward as the season progresses. The model that we have been following is uh, that we will be we are producing ethanol from sugarcane juice directly. And uh, during the off season, we will be producing ethanol from bee heavy molasses. So what has happened in this quarter is, uh, you know, we uh, for the first time, we took a production of ethanol from juice directly. So there were teething problems, but we have overcome them all. And uh, typically, when we start the season, the, uh, the recoveries are rather low. So it also reflects on the ethanol productivity. Okay, all right. And what about for next year? Uh, seven crore liters is what you're looking at for FY23. Uh, for Correct. the coming uh, year, uh, do you gradually go to around that 10 crore? I think that's what you told us in the past in 2025. You could clarify on that. Certainly, we'll be do, able to do more than 10 crore liters in the coming fiscal. That's in FY24 itself? Yeah, FY24. And, and, and your total capacity is how much? Uh, we, our capacity is 337 kiloliters per day. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, we, we assume we'll be working for more than 300 days. So, well, uh, our ethanol production could be anything between 10 crore liters and 11 crore liters. Okay, so that is a big move, right? 27% growth is what you're looking at in FY23 from 5.5 crore to 7 crore liters. And then from 7 to 10 crore liters. And as you said, there's a paradigm shift in your business model as well with a bigger focus on ethanol now. What would this mean for your overall revenue growth? What are you looking at uh, by the end of FY23 and 24? Well, uh, the fourth quarter is typically a good quarter for all sugar companies uh, because we have production, we have better recoveries in this quarter. Uh, well, to talk of the top line, uh, uh, you know, it's not the top line that we are focusing on. It's the revenue mix that we are focusing on. We are trying to have more of ethanol in our uh, sales mix so that our uh, bottom line gets better. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Banka, we have a short chat, but effective one. Thanks a lot for joining in and giving us a quick take. That's Dwarake Sugar speaking about a 27